Alright, Ungbo morning to you all. I'm Danielle. And I'm Ayan. On the eighth day of Christmas, Ungbo gave to me eight flash drives, seven headsets, six awesome presents, five golden plants, four stations, three Christmas stockings, two news anchors, and the key to a great broadcast. And on the eighth day, you'll find out tomorrow. Ninth Fossils. Day. <laughs> Ninth day. Fossils have been found and the results are shocking. A sensory tank has been created and it might sense a beautiful sight. Alright guys, I saw the mummy trailer last night and we're going to talk about it. And my view heard it here. Do you like reports about suns and moons? And do you like song? Stay tuned for my other report. Yesterday you find out what team won the cross country meet. Find out who placed. We'll be back with that and more on the other side of the break. <laughs> Live at Five Show. Test Love students, have a good Christmas and a good time on your break. Malagayin Pasco. Feliz Navidad. Shantan Jia Kwai Lo. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. Welcome back from the break. Now it's time for the Test Love play by play. Because we deem today Filipino Apparel Day, we wanted to explain how the flag of the Philippines came to be. The national flag of the Philippines, also known as three stars in the sun, has a deeper meaning to it than just the flag. The colors on the flag are red, white, yellow, and blue. All of these colors have a special meaning. The red is a symbol for courage and patriotism. Next is the white triangular shaped portion. This, this part of the flag symbolizes liberty, equality, and fraternity. The royal blue section represents willingness to sacrifice for freedom, peace, truth, and justice. Lastly are the golden yellow sun and the stars of the flag. The sun symbolizes unity, freedom, people's democracy, and sovereignty. And the sun's eight rays represent the eight cities and provinces that the Filipino rev revolution against Spain. The three stars of the flag re recognizes the three major island groups where the revolution started. These islands are Luzon, Visayas, and Mindaro. That's the story behind the Filipino flag. There's only two weeks left to get your yearbooks for $39. This deal lasts until the end of this month before they go up to $49 on January 1st. You can order online or in room 205. Is your binder crying out for help or is it bursting at the seams? No worries, there's help for you every Thursday in is Binder Rescue in the library at lunch. So if your binder's a mess, head to the library today at lunch to get some help sorting it out. Today we have the results for the Spirit Month. This month goes to Mr. Cordy. Congratulations to room 407. Tommy will be hanging with your class till the end of January. ASB is hosting a holiday toy drive through December 20th. Bring a new unwrapped toy into homeroom. The homeroom with the most toys collected will win an ice cream sandwich Sandwiches provided by Jackie. Help a child in need this holiday and help support the Spark of Love toy drive. ASB will come around on Tuesday the 20th to collect the items donated. Let's check out with the Tetzloff calendar. Today is Filipino Apparel Day. Tomorrow is Minimum Day and College Day. Next week is Cool Spirit Week and Winter Break starting Friday. Now it's time for the action reaction. <laughs> Time to laugh on the best day of the week. I'm sure Jace would love to see the new trailer for Captain America Civil War. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Meditate. Just gonna check and see if the house is safe before I go to bed. Hey, are there any stabbers down there? No, it's okay. Okay, good. On the roof! of recommendations that is five out of five stars that concludes the test law play by play we'll see you after the break the bird 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 machine check
Welcome back. Time to get into today's hot topics. Whoever knew dinosaurs had feathers? Well, the unprecedented find of 99 million year old dinosaur tail trapped in a piece of amber has shocked scientists. The amber is about the size of an apple, is about 6 grams, and was found by a Chinese scientist. The tail belonged to a young solarosaurian from the same group of dinosaurs as the predatory. Velociraptors and Trinarcis. The Chinese said that the animal would have had a whip-like tail, just like a mouse, but covered with feathers. There's a new Thor movie in the making called Thor Ragnarok. The fans have been craving this movie. The main character is Thor, Thor who is played by Chris Hemsworth, and Loki is played by Tom Hiddleston. Bruce Banner will be appear as the Hulk in the movie. In, in the movie, Thor is trying to save the world from his brother, who has taken his father's place as king. This movie is so confidential that the, that this is the only information that has been released to the public. The movie will be in theaters next year. Time to check in with Jace on on today's You Heard It Now report, or You Heard It Here report. Good morning, Jace. Welcome, you guys. Now I saw the mummy last night. You know, iffy about it, but what I want to do is, I think I'm gonna grab this mic before I start talking. But uh, what I, what I want to say is the trailer doesn't look. It looks kind of like an iffy movie to me. It has Tom Cruise in it, of course. It's uh, the actor that's shorter than me. But um, yeah, it shows them in an airplane with the mummy tomb thingy and then a bunch of bats fly through the window. It's like, Neow. Tom Cruise supposedly dies, but then this like jumps out of a body bag in like the morgue or something. He's like, Whoa. I'm alive. But then, uh, but then it shows like the new mummy, which is a female mummy this time, which is pretty cool, I think. But I'm not sure if it's related to the mum mummy movies before this, but the mummy, this, this one looks kind of eh to me, but I'll most likely see it no matter what. All right, it's now time to check out weather. Oh wait, before that, remember guys, here. Huh? Huh? Yeah? No one laughs. <laughs> there they go. All right, now it's time for weather with Jenna. Jenna. Good morning, everyone, and it's time for today's weather report. First off, a quick thank you for Jace for spoiling the whole mummy movie for us. Thank you, Jace. Also, we will be moving on to weather. I would sing it for you, but I don't want to make your ears bleed. Starting off in Tokyo, Japan, we'll be seeing a low of 39. All the way to the other side of the map, all the way at the bottom, Rio de Janeiro will be seeing a low of 71. Slowly moving back up to the top, they will be seeing a low of 54 in Los Angeles and a low of 7 in Anchorage. Moving on to our next map, we'll be seeing a high of, 50, of 48 in Tokyo. Moving to the other side of the map, this time all the way at the top, they'll be seeing a high of 29 Anchorage. Slowly moving down, they'll be seeing a low or a high of 50 in Los Angeles and all the way at the bottom, they'll be seeing 77 in Rio de Janeiro. Moving on, before we get to this, we will be having a special song for everyone about the sun and the moon. Take it away. All right. I gotta duck down for this. All right, ready on the count of three. One, two. Three. Day, Day man. man. Biter, Biter of the, the night man. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> <laughs> Champion <laughs> of the sun. He's a master of karate and friendship for, for everyone. Day man. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Biter <laughs> of the night man. Ha ha. Champion of the sun. He's a master of karate and friendship <laughs> for everyone. Day man. That was a special song by me and Jameson, and uh, for those of you who know what that is, it's uh, good for you. And for those of you who have second period with me, you definitely know what this means. <laughs> so thank you so much. You All may right. make your way. Right. Thank you. That was a great song. Okay, so this is our topic for today. So, on a regular sunny, sunny day, a storm hit the southern tip of Baja, California. Cabo San Lucas witnessed a window shattering, tree killing, car flipping hurricane. While they are still recovering, Cabo is still in business with their nightlife and amazing beaches. Okay, so moving on. Which way is he facing? 
Okay, so this this one, I, I've seen this one before, so it's easy to explain. So on what, you, okay. So if you look at his nose, it looks like he's facing the side and he just has like a ginormous face. But then if you don't look at it like that, it just looks like his face was cut down the middle. But I like to think he has a giant nose because it's funnier. So now it's time for sports with Jameson. Good morning, Jameson. Hold on, let me pull out my script here. Okay. It was an intense game between the Raptors and the 76ers, but in the end, the Raptors win 123 to 114. And uh, ending the game, though, with a 34 point lead, the Rockets beat the Kings 132 to 98. But the Cavs lose to the Grizzlies 93 to 85 without LeBron James, Kyle or Ky Kyrie Irving, or Kevin Love because Ty Tyron Lue suggested they need a rest. And we've been like playing every single game, so yeah. But uh, it was kind of late. But Louis, the Louisville Cardinals sophomore QB Lamar Jackson won the Heisman. And I know like Johnny Manziel won the Heisman, so hopefully he doesn't turn out like him. Uh, now for cross country, the winner for the boys was Aiden Coda, who took second place, and Sofia Vasquez took first. So good job and good job, Tesla. But that's it for my sports report. Time for the news. So how's everybody doing today? Good. How are you guys? Good. Yeah. Good. So, yeah. so Alyssa, who's our guest today? Our guest is Devin from my sixth period class. Hey, Devin. I'm also in your sixth period class. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get on to the first story. 300 U.S. Marines are now training in, in the Arctic Circle. They are going to Norway for a year since they are close to the border of Russia. There is a concern of an attack from Russia. To prepare for a potential attack, they are training in cold weather. They are also dug up underground caves stored with tanks and guns, plus ammunition in case in case Russia attacks them. Attacks them. The Marines are nervous about about the other times Russia attacked, attacked other countries like Crimea and Eastern Ukraine. So the Marines are now being very cautious. So in this time of peace, why do you think they would make a army and prepare one right now? Um, maybe they're just trying to like defend their country. I'm trying to be ready for in case be they ready. attack yeah. and what happens. What do you think, Devin? I don't know. I don't think it's good because they're also risking their lives when they can just be preparing somewhere else, not close to Russia. True. So that would be better if they just prepared there. So. The new sensory deprivation tank is a huge pod of water where you can relax. They're not as scary as you think. They're actually super chill. The company called Lift Float in Brooklyn it's, is bringing flotation tanks to people. Each and every pod is filled with 250 gallons of water and 1,000 pounds of salt. The pod helps to relieve pain, muscle relaxation, blood flow stimulation, endorphin boosts, and creativity increase. One fan, Daniel Finfer, said, quote, I felt like my eyes were moving deep into my body, like my vision was starting to come from my chest, end quote. Why do you think people want to relax in a water pod? I mean, um, does that sound weird? It, it sounds really weird to me. Like, mm -hmm. a water pod, I would take a that would be good enough I saw, I saw a video on it on YouTube, and I don't, because they were saying that they didn't like it, and it was really hard for them to relax in there. Mm -hmm. So I think it just depends on who you are. Yeah. So if you can, like, relax, then it would be a good pot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that wraps it up for the news. It's time for today's segment where you show the world what they have. A nine-year-old... A nine-year-old girl, Kylie Plowman, has been recognized for her hard work in helping others. For example, she raised $5,000 for the Wilmington Children Program and the Boston Children's Hospital. She also donated $600 to the nearest Santa Claus and asked him to give presents to other kids who aren't getting any for Christmas. It all started when she read a magazine of a girl raising money for, the, for an animal shelter. She wanted to do something that helps others too, but the same idea. So she did something different. She received $100 gift card for her actions. 
Now let's we'll fill us in on the status of this week's wet bowl. Well, again with us this morning is Devin. Good morning, Devin. Hello. And so will you please read today's wet bowl for us? Yes. Up here. Is peer pressure good or bad? Just say it. Is peer pressure good or bad? Um, is peer pressure good or bad? Here's what you guys said. One said, depends, because maybe a peer might be saying the right or the wrong thing. Another one of you said, depends, if you are hanging out with the bad peers, then you will make bad decisions. To vote, visit us online at ungba.com. You can also send your vote and comment to us at Instagram at ungba global. Leave a comment with us at either place and your message just might make it on the air. So, Devin, what do you think about peer pressure? Do you think it's good or bad? It's agree with the first quote. It depends on the peer, whether they're good, bad. Yeah. Like, I would be a good peer to hang out with. Yes. Okay, well, toss to the FYI. Melissa. What is the first dinosaur created? T-Rex, Megalonsaurus, Troodon, Titanosaurus. Take five. Megalonsaurus was, the, was in the Jurassic period about 161 to 176 million years ago. Imagine yourself at school unable to buy lunch. Then imagine a random stranger suddenly just suddenly just buys you and your friends lunch. Sounds unlikely? Well, that's happened at the school in Pennsylvania at the H.W. Good Elementary School. Nearly half of the children there are, had financial issues and couldn't afford lunch. Well, on Wednesday, a random person came through the school doors and wrote a check for $864 to pay for the debt of the children. He then proceeded to pay for one of the child's lunch for the rest of the year. The reason why he did it was because he had a child that attended the same school. He didn't want to be noticed or credited in any way. According to CNN, the school is writing letters to the families to surprise them without revealing who did it. Have a jolly day. Thank you all for joining us and we'll see you back here tomorrow.